qualification. Statistics tabled by the Uganda Bankers Association. Before the Education Committee of Parliament show that by 30th September 2021, school proprietors and teachers owed commercial banks 1.3 trillion shillings. Of these 596 billion shillings, was borrowed by teachers in salary loans before the COVID-19 pandemic last year. Another 600 billion shillings is owed by business people who invested in students' hostels. Since the first COVID-19 lockdown in March 2020, these loans have accrued 126 billion in interest. Now, since the expiry of the directive by the central bank to restructure loans for businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic on 30th September, commercial banks are demanding the loan repayment and the accrued interest. The burden of non-performing loans and COVID is not only for financial institutions. We cannot carry the entire cost of non-performing loans because of COVID. It is too much and unfair. Okay? Let me be very categorical on that. It is not financial institutions that created COVID. Before the Education Committee of Parliament, Uganda Bankers Association proposed an education recovery facility through Bank of Uganda of over 1 trillion shillings. They want this money to be lent to schools on long-term basis. Facility. There are international development financial institutions that have, have, can avail money for much longer period on more favorable terms. We have seen our governments borrow for World Bank, the IMF, and other international institutions for perhaps even lesser priorities, by the way. We think that this can be done and the merits of the proposal need to be looked at. Without this facility, commercial banks are predicting tough times ahead, which could result in attaching schools and teachers' properties. We think that we should focus on recovery measures that enable those schools to recover over a period and pay back the loans properly. We, when we, we are not in the business of selling, but even when we sell, even the buyer who gets it still will get the loan running, What still if the schools are still closed. The Education Committee met the bankers as they discuss a motion by Changkwan's woman MP Christine Bukenya urging government to bail out private schools. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.